this video is for Mac users and the video will show Mac users how to download a graded essay that uses what we call inline grading in Brightspace. So if your instructor uses inline grading in Brightspace, this video will show you how to download an in inline graded essay for Mac users. Hello, so let's get started. Okay, when you're ready to download your graded draft, um, click Assessments, and then click Grades. The computer will take you to the grades, and then you will see uh, the essay name. And over here on the right, follow the cursor, over here on the right, you'll see View Inline Feedback. So you click that and the computer will take you to um, your graded draft and you'll see that there are uh, icon sticky note comments here uh, and you may have some highlighting, you may have some other marks here, it doesn't matter. What, whatever is, whatever comments your teacher made, they'll be here. Now to download this with the comments, you go to the upper right hand corner, notice the cursor here, and you see the cloud with the pencil. And you can see there it says download annotations. So you click that. And for Mac users, as you know, you can go, it will take you to your download arrow up here. And you click that, and then you click the document you just downloaded, and there it is. And you can do a quick little te test you can see that your annotations are active, so they open. And then uh, once you have it downloaded and open as we have it here, you then need to save it to your desktop. So you do File, and I want you to click Export. Don't click Export as PDF, pick Export and then you can name this so your first name uh, and last name and you could say graded draft and we'll just call it SA1 all right and then save it to your desktop okay and so click save all right so it's saved to your desktop now uh, you can then close everything out I'm going to clear that and you can see we're back. I've closed everything up and we're back to the grades. So that's how you download your graded draft with your teacher's comments to your desktop. And once you do that, you should be good to go.